up you guys it's gavin welcome to and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button down below also make sure you do the notification bell so you don't miss out on upload i'll be showing you guys how to start your dream wardrobe also how to build your wardrobe how to add things amazon finds jewelry pieces that you need streetwear things all the necessities that you need to start your dream wardrobe before we get into this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my channel without further ado let's get into this video to start you guys i'm just going to show you guys the pieces that i have on hand which is my jewelry my hats my tote bags my cargos my windbreaker pants my graphic tees coats everything of that sort that you guys see me on my instagram so i'm just going to show you all that that i normally that you guys see me on instagram with if you're not following me on instagram make sure you go follow me on instagram my socials will be on the screen so make sure you go check that out all right you guys so enough about shoes clothes jewelry has all of the above and every necessity that you will most definitely need for your wardrobe i'm going to give you guys a few more tips about starting your dream wardrobe tip one so Things that you can find on Amazon are like really good fashion shades, really good graphic tees. You can also find cargos. You can find a lot of jewelry. And like I said before, I got my jewelry from there. You can find a lot of things like literally Amazon is the plug, but I will say Amazon is more on the pricier side, depending on what you want to, you know, search for what you really like and what you really just want. But you can find a lot of things on Amazon. Amazon is really just your best friend. And if you have Prime, your things get there even faster. So yeah. That's why you want to, you know, branch out and just get different things that you probably would like. And then just branch out, use Amazon. Amazon is a really good place to shop. And you can also use AliExpress as well. So tip number two is shop on Instagram beauties. Like, you know, places like Love the Wholesale, places like Yes Style, places like Pretty Little Thing. I know those aren't like, you know, Instagram small boutiques, but like, you know, just places on Instagram that sell clothing that are just sometimes you have to really search for them and dig for them just to find certain accounts that really just stick out and stand out to you i would most definitely shop on instagram boutiques because they're just there to really just go for you you know and most instagram boutiques they are fast on shipping and they have really good high quality clothing i really want to try this one brand out it's called simple apparel but once i try them out i will let you guys know go on pinterest you guys start a pinterest account once you go on Pinterest and you really just search for what you're looking for, you can really like branch out and really find any and everything, any outfit, any color combos. Everything is on Pinterest or We Heart It, Tumblr, Instagram, anywhere you can find outfits that really just fit your aesthetic. You feel me? Last tip when it comes to your aesthetic or the way that you want to dress, do not worry about what people think, okay? When you want to dress out, like me, I started wearing cargos, I started wearing tote bags. I just posted my pictures and I literally went on Do Not Disturb. I just let it be there and I let my Instagram do what it do best. And everyone loved it. Me personally, I didn't care because I just liked the way that I dressed. I liked the way that I came out with a different style that I didn't see anyone else doing. So you just do what you're comfortable with. And that also goes along with like doing poses and doing certain things that you post on social media. Do what you're comfortable with, okay? Don't do a pose that you probably see other people doing and you probably not gonna like yourself and you wanna do it just because you see other people doing it. If somebody jump off a bridge, you gonna jump a bridge with them? Oh, okay. So don't do what other people do. Just be comfortable, be unique, be you. Just stand out, do what other people are not doing, you know? So to start, I have going to show you guys all of the accessories that I wear or that I have, just because I feel like accessories really change your entire look, whether it being from just casual and then you want to dress it up a lot, you know? So to start, I have this one silver necklace that I got from Shein. It's just a regular lock necklace. I think this was two dollars don't quote me i think it was two dollars from the last time that i bought it but you know shein they change their prices all the time but i really like this necklace it's something simple it's a really good statement piece if i'm really going for a certain look with my outfit but overall i don't really wear silver necklaces like that so that's why i only have one gold is really my preference when it comes to jewelry i've really started getting into the like gold and stuff like that rings and all of that all right, you guys, so the next piece of jewelry that I have is my gold initial necklace that I got from Amazon. The font that my initial is in is the old English, I think. But I got this on Amazon. It was around $7, I think. Don't quote me, but it will be linked in the description. But um, I really like this necklace. It's one of my favorite necklaces that I have of my collection. I will want to get more from Amazon. 
but as of right now this is the only one that i have it's really good quality i love it it really goes good whenever i layer it with my other gold necklaces but yeah i really love this necklace so the last piece of jewelry that i have is just my gold chain that i got from cage jewelry i'm not sure if i can find the link to this but if i can i will link it down below but this necklace i've had for a little minute now i really just started getting into necklaces so that's why i brought it out and started wearing it again it was my first ever necklace so of course i'm gonna love it more than i love my other ones but overall, this is a really good statement piece. It goes with a lot of my outfits that I wear. Cause like I said, I'm getting more into the gold because it goes with a lot of my outfits that I have. So overall, I love this necklace. It's really nice, it's high quality. All right guys, so next what I have as an accessory for you guys is glasses. So I don't really wear glasses like that, but when I do, they go it with my look effortlessly. All right guys, so the next accessory that I have for you guys are glasses so me personally i don't wear glasses like that but when i do they complete the entire look but the two glasses that i have are just these the first pair of glasses that i have are these clear gold metal colored glasses i really love these these are simple they go with a lot of my looks because they're clear just straight to the point you know but i really love these these were from shein both of these were the exact same price i think don't quote me but these will link, be linked down below i honestly love these glasses and i love the black pair that i got as well the black pair is exactly like the clear pair but i love these a lot more these are very 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 these are very good quality glasses y'all and the fact that these go with literally everything that i have is just it just blows my mind but these are some really good glasses i love these right here these are just top tier over the charts you know the first hat that i have to show you guys is my new york yankees hat it's just black and it has my name on the side because it was a trend going around and i had to hop on it because i did not want to miss out but this hat is very simple straight to the point is black and white goes with any and everything and if you really want to go for a straight black and white look this is the hat to go to but i love this hat and also the blue on the side with my name on it just really adds a pop of color if you don't have a lot of color in your outfit this will most definitely stand out and if you do like a little close-up on it you'll see it i love this hat it's very simple straight to the point and yeah i wish i did get the fitted cap i think that's what it is but I just got the Velcro strip, which I really wish I didn't. But overall, I love the hat, very high quality. And yeah, so I'm sure y'all can hear it. But the next hat, which is from my Yes Style haul, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. But it's just this hat. It's a very good streetwear piece. I got this from Yes Style, like I've said before. But I love this hat. I haven't worn it with too much yet, but I do have a look that I have coming soon. I'm just waiting on a few things to come in. But overall, I love this hat right here. It's very streetwear. I haven't worn it or styled it too much yet, but I don't really have much to say about it. But also, it is an adjustable back. I love it. I will have this link down below as well as the other hat. But I really love this 10 out of 10, and I just like the way that it dangles and all the little hoops and all that stuff. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, the next accessory that I have to show you guys that I wear literally every time, all day, 24-7, are tote bags so recently i just turned into a tote bag guy i am obsessed with tote bags any tote bag that i see i want it so to start i have this denim tote bag that i wore that i made myself so me personally i love this denim tote bag it really just came to mind whenever i was just making something at night and i was bored and i was like let's make a tote bag so this tote bag right here is just a denim tote bag i love it it's one of my favorites that I have in my collection, but it's slowly growing and I want to make a bigger one. But right now, this is my favorite and I love it. It's very simple. It goes with a lot of my blue outfits. If I ever want to just do like a simple white and black fit, I can just throw this with it and it goes with it perfectly. The next tote bag that I have is just this bag that I got thrifted. It's just a tan tote bag. I love this tote bag. It's literally one of my favorites. It's tan neutral color. It goes with all of my neutral outfits that I, it goes with all my neutral outfits that I have. I just love it. So yeah, it's not really big and it's not like any other tote bag that has like the zippers in it and stuff. But yeah, overall, I love it. So the next tote bag that I have is just this tote bag that was gifted to me. It's like a, I don't know what you call it. It's like a military bag, tactical bag. I think that's what it's the name of it. But I love this bag. I will also link all of these tote bags down below, how I got them, where I made them, all that stuff. But I'm not sure if I can link this one. But I love this color. Like it's very neutral. It's very, you know, something you don't see every day. 
but I just love it and it has a strap that goes on the shoulder or you can wear it around like your waist and have this part around your thigh which I really love I haven't tried that look yet but eventually I probably will but overall I love this it's just something statement piece I just love it all right guys so now we're getting into more of my tops you know so to start I have my flannels here I do wear flannels well just these two but um the first flannel right here, which is from True Religion, I couldn't find a link to this, but I did put something similar to it. But this flannel is one of my favorite flannels. It's super duper soft and it's good quality, of course, it's from True Religion. But this flannel, I love it. I will have a try on portion on the screen, but I do love this flannel. It's very good. I love the colors. It does have a neutral color and it goes well with my tan tote bag. But overall, I love this flannel. It is, it is on more of the pricey side, but if you really want it, you can really get it. But I love this flannel. It's just something really nice, cozy, keeps you cool. It's a really nice, you know, really nice statement piece, something you can layer with. I really love this. And then the next flannel that I have is just this red and black flannel that I got from Walmart. This was my first ever flannel that I ever got because I really wasn't into flannels until I really got into them. But I love this flannel. It's really nice. It's really simple. Everybody has a basic red and black flannel, so that's why I got one because it's very basic. It goes with a, a few things, but not a lot of things, but you can dress this up, and it's also a good layering piece, you know? But this is very much, this was on the cheap side, so if you want a basic flannel that everyone has, but you know, you can dress it up, Walmart is the way to go. All right, guys, so now we're getting more into my jacket. So. My next jacket that I have for you guys, which is everywhere, is trendy all over the internet. This is one essential that you most definitely need, which is a black puffer coat. I got mine for Forever 21 in the men's section. I bought it in store, so I really couldn't find the link online, but I will try my hardest to find it. So it's just this black puffer coat that literally goes with everything. It does have pockets, like zip up pockets, and it also has regular zip up, you know? But yeah, overall, I really love this. It's really nice. It's really simple, straight to the point. And yeah, it's just a really good, and also it does have a hoodie. It keeps you warm. I love this jacket. It's really one of my favorite jacket pieces that I have. And it goes with a lot of things. It's also a really good layering piece as well. And yeah, I just really like it. All right, you guys, so the next jacket that I do have, I'm not gonna show you guys my zip up jacket because I don't know where it is, but I do have this hoodie. So this hoodie is from Yes Style. It is, it is in my Yes Style haul, but I will also have this link down below. But um, I really love this hoodie. It's very simple. It's black and white. Goes with a lot of things. You can wear it with a lot of things. It's also, it's not really a good, it's not really a layering piece, but you can layer it if you want to dress it up that kind of way. But me personally, I like it simple, straight to the point, a good basic hoodie and jeans. Air Force Ones or Converse fit. This is the way to go. I love this jacket and I'm sure you will too. So yeah, this is a really good piece as well. All right, you guys. So my next piece that I have to show you guys are really now I'm getting into my tops, but this is a regular white turtleneck that I got from Shein. I did get this in a large. I should have went up a size because really it's a crop top on me, but I layer it with things so you can't really tell the difference. But me personally, I really like this. It's very simple and you can layer a turtleneck with a lot of things. Like this turtleneck goes under a graphic tee or you know just if you want to dress it up you can even throw it under a jacket a hoodie anything you can dress this up a lot especially if you have a black one it goes with everything and sheen does have a lot of colors they have white black any color you need they got it so this is a really good piece that you most definitely need in your wardrobe so make sure you keep an eye out for this and just really make sure you have a lot of these different colors different styles everything different textures all of that all right guys so next one i'm getting into are my graphic tees so i'm just going to show you guys a few graphic tees not all of them because this is not a graphic tee haul but the first graphic tee which is from shein is just this euphoria graphic tee i love this graphic tee a lot it's very simple i haven't really styled it how i want to yet and i haven't took pictures in it but soon i will i love this graphic tee i've worn it just having two pictures in it because i just really don't know how i want to style it but this is a really good graphic tee high quality like I said, it does have blue, purple, and white, and black, so it's very simple. You can throw this on with Converse, Air Force Ones. You can wear it with a lot of things, and you can also wear a turtleneck under this as well if you really wanted to. Next graphic tee, which is from Shein as well, it's just this Billy Baker graphic tee with a car on it. I don't know what's up with Shein, but almost all the graphic tees have cars on them. But me personally, I like the graphic tee and kind of the thing that they have going on. But I like this. I really haven't styled it yet. I haven't put on my, I haven't took pictures in it yet, but I probably will soon. Just stay tuned. 
But yeah, this is a really good graphic tee. It's black as well. I have a lot of black graphic tees, by the way. And then next, this graphic tee is actually from YesStyle. I really have not took pictures in this yet as well. But I'm really just trying to, you know, get all the pieces that I need first before I try and do it. But yeah, this graphic tee right here, this was featured in my YesStyle haul. So yeah, I really love this graphic tee. It's very simple. It's just purple, black, white, and it has a little dot of yellow in the middle. So if you really wanted to make that yellow pop, you could throw a yellow shoe on. Or just a yellow hat anything you can even throw a yellow puffer coat on it you know just dress it up any kind of way you want but yeah me personally i love a good graphic tee and this right here is a really good one so yeah all right guys so now we're getting into my bottoms so the first two pairs of bottoms that i'm going to show you guys are both pairs of cargos so this first pair that i have right here that you guys have already seen on my ig are these black zip up cargos that well not zip up but they have zippers on the knees and then these are from Forever 21, like I said. I love these, these are one of my most, like one of my favorite cargos, but I really like these. These are very simple, you know, very straight to the point. And they're just a really good pair of cargos, very high quality. I love all the different details, the zippers, the pockets, everything. And then at the bottom, it did have like an elastic that you could make smaller and have like little strings pop off. But me personally, I didn't like that, so I took it off. But you can keep it on, but yeah. Overall, I love these. All right, guys, so my next pair of cargos are these tan ones. It's kind of brown. They're more of a neutral color, you know? I love neutral colors. I'm really getting into brown, more of neutral colors type stuff. But me personally, I love these. I've styled these multiple ways, and you can style these, dress them up, dress them down, however you will feel. But me personally, I love these. These are really good, high quality from Walmart as well. Y'all sleep on Walmart, but Walmart has some really good cargos. And yeah, these right here are just one of my favorite pairs. I have to get some more. All right, guys, so the next pair of bottoms that I'm going to show you guys are regular dress pants that I got from Walmart as well. They're kind of caramel color, but I like them. They're really nice. I've styled these as well, but I think I want to style them differently next time. But me personally, I like these. These don't have as much detail as any of my other bottoms, but they do have a slight pocket on the belt loop, and then they have pockets on the side. They're not really cargos. don't have any pockets on the legs. They're just a basic, you know, something you could wear, something you could throw on, just style as like a layering piece or just any statement piece that you want to add a pop of color you know all right guys so the next pair of bottoms that i'm going to show you guys are these windbreaker pants that i got from bells i actually don't think these were thrifted i think i just found them as like a lucky day but i love these these have some really good detail and they also are split hem at the bottom i don't know how these are split hem at the bottom with zippers but they are and then on the side it just has like this saying that has um, bro, I think that's the brand and then it also has ES on the side of the underpants leg. These are a really good streetwear piece I style these as well. I think I want to style them Wait, I think I want to style them a different way I don't know yet, but me personally, I just like how I did it the first time So yeah, these are really good and you most definitely need a really good, you know Throw on pieces you could just go with that's really good, you know all right, guys, so the next pair of bottoms that I have to show you guys are just a pair of sweatpants. So I have the exact same pair, just in two different colors. So the first pair are these light gray sweatpants that I got from Walmart. And then the second pair are these darker pair of sweatpants that I got from Walmart as well, like I said. So since they are both the same thing, I'll just talk on them at the same time. So they both have pockets on the sides but they don't have anything else they're kind of more of a wide leg so me personally i like a wide leg better than a tight fitted you know because i don't really like i like fitted clothes but like fitted bottoms they just not my style anymore kind of like loosely you know so these right here are the perfect perfect sweatpants that you could dress up with air force ones or you want to go for a basic fit with a zip up jacket white tee white graffiti black graffiti with some converse and call it a fit you know add a tote bag add a hat and there goes a fit. All right, you guys, so I know this is probably the part that you guys wanted to see most, but I'm going to show you guys two shoes that can help you really jumpstart your wardrobe, which are a pair of original Converse. So these right here are just a go-to shoe. Like they're black and white, go with everything in your closet. Literally, these are black and white, and you can literally add red, pink, blue, every color in a rainbow and your fit will snap. Like literally Converse are just a go-to shoe that you can just throw on with anything and your fit will be entirely complete, you know? And it's just a shoe that you can dress up, you can add anything, everything, you know? It literally goes with, look, it goes with everything, you feel me? Next shoe that I have for you guys are a pair of all white Air Force Ones. So everyone has a pair of all white Air Force Ones and if you don't, go get you a pair. Literally all white Air Force Ones go with 
any everything and i know they're all white shoe that's why you get like you can get protecting um spray so i have it because my shoes get dirty really quick but you do want to keep up with your shoes make sure they're clean and stuff because you don't want your outfits to be bombing and your shoes be dirty so make sure y'all keeping up with y'all shoes and get you a pair of all white air force ones because these are really just a really good shoe you feel me number one to start so that is all that i have for y'all i hope that y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my channel without further ado i love y'all and i'm see y'all in my next video peace